All right, so I'm going to show here how to do a Google feed into the All Event Planner here on the website. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my Google Calendar. And then what I'm going to do here is I've got, well, different calendars here. But what you need to do is your My Calendar over here, click down, um, then go to the calendar that you want. In this case, I'll just pick one of my personal ones. I made some mock posts here. So I go to Calendar Settings, click on that. And then what I do here is my options. I go down to private addresses, and I was a little confused here, but you click on iCal, click this, you'll get a link, copy this, go over to your feed. So what you're going to do now, <clears throat> get this over here, I'm going to go to calendar feeds. I'm going to paste in the calendar URL. And then I'm going to just tag it with personal calendar, and I'll delete this later. Um, you can show map on imported events if you have it embedded on the calendar and whatever else. So I'm going to add this as a new subscription. And I'm going to um, update my settings. Go ahead and click refresh here. Yeah, and make sure you click refresh on the button here because it just imported the five events. And if you saw my calendar here, here um, yeah, I've got these bogus events. The event is going Andrew's second post, Andrew's third post. I go over to my main calendar or my home page. I'm going to refresh it. And as you see here, I've got, well, July 15th, the event is going on Andrew's second post. And then on July 16th, Andrew's third post. So it works. The Google feed works. It's great. I don't know if you'll need to refresh this continuously or maybe it'll feed back in, but it makes it easy so you won't have to post over on the Google Calendar and you won't have to manually put everything in over here. And that is all.